Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Glasscock. Thank you guys so much for joining. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys the easiest way to find the best DNS server on PS4. A while back ago, I uploaded a video very similar to this one titled, the best DNS server for PS4 and Xbox One. If you guys wanna check it out, I will have it linked in the corner as a card of the screen of this video where you guys can click it and check it out. It's the more advanced technique of finding the best DNS server for your home network. However, there were some users that found it a little bit too complicated because you do have to use your computer and download a program called DNS Bench. And what you do is you plug in the best DNS server that you found on the test into your router and then your whole entire home network can use that DNS server. However, like I said, this is going to be the easiest way to find the best DNS server on PS4. So the only thing that you need to perform this test is going to be just your PS4. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The way the test is going to work is I'm going to be showing you guys three of the best DNS servers that you can possibly use. They're very popular but I'm gonna be testing each 10 times on speed tests through PS4, and I'm gonna be averaging them out to find out which one is the fastest. You guys can perform this test with me and see if you all get a different result. And if you guys do enjoy the video, please comment down below and let me know which one you found out was the fastest. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your settings, and to change your DNS server, you're gonna go into network, we're gonna to go to set up internet connection and I'm using a LAN cable. It really is the fastest way to connect your PS4 to the internet. However, if you do use Wi-Fi, you can also perform this test. It works exactly the same, but I'm using LAN cable. So we're gonna use LAN cable and I'm gonna set everything to custom. IP address settings is gonna be automatic. DHCP host name, do not specify. DNS, we're gonna to set to manual. And the first DNS server that I'm gonna be testing is going to be Google DNS. So you're gonna to wanna to type in 8.8.8.8 .8 for the primary. Secondary is going to be 8.8.4.4. All right, so we're gonna go in here to next. MTU settings is going to be set to automatic. Proxy server, we're not using one. And we're gonna do our first internet connection test. And like I said, we're gonna be testing each DNS server 10 times. I realize that's a relatively small sample size. However, I'm not gonna sit here and test each DNS server 100 times or more. That would make this video just far too long and it would be uninteresting. And it's probably gonna be uninteresting as is. So if you guys wanna to skip to the very end of the video to see the results, you guys can do that. However, don't take my results as guidance. You should perform this test on your own to see if you get a different result. So first test is going to be a whopping, let's see what we get. 170 megabits per second over 227. And for my averages, I am going to be just rounding it up. I'm gonna be using whole numbers. I'm not going to be including the 0.3 or the 0.9 when I uh, plug everything into my Excel spreadsheet. So if you guys actually go and do all the work and plug in my numbers to see if my tests were actually accurate, just know that I'm using the whole numbers. I'm not including the 0.9 or the 0.3. Now we're going to do a second test. I don't know why anybody would want to go and plug in my numbers though. That'd be weird. 169 over 217. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven.
Number eight. Number nine. Almost there. And number 10 for Google DNS. So like I said, I will be posting the average right here on the screen. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna be posting the averages for all four DNS servers. And we will see exactly which one is the fastest here on my network. So the next DNS server that we're going to be testing is one that's very popular called OpenDNS. It's free to use as well, and I'm going to be showing you all the numbers that you can plug in on your PS4. So we're going to go and set up internet connection. Again, we're using our LAN cable. We're going to set to custom, automatic, do not specify, manual. OpenDNS is a little bit of a longer of a number though. It's 208.67.1. Two 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 dot two two two. Secondary is going to be two oh eight dot six seven dot two twenty dot two twenty. Now we're going to set MTU settings to automatic. Do not use test internet connection. First test through OpenDNS is going to be 142 over 216. All right, we're going to move on to the second test. Test number three. Test number four. Test number five. Test number six. Test number seven. Test number eight. Test number nine, almost there. And number 10. Okie dokie, we're moving on to the next DNS server. The next one is going to be Cloudflare. This is a DNS server that is also free to use and it's pretty popular. I'm gonna be setting up my internet connection using LAN cable. We're gonna to set to custom again. Automatic, do not specify, manual, and Cloudflares is really easy to remember. It's one dot, one dot, one dot, one, one dot, zero dot, zero dot, one. Boom, all right, let's go ahead and set everything else to automatic, do not use and our first internet connection test through Cloudflare DNS. Let's see how it goes.
72 over 29. Test number two. Test number three. Test number four. Test number five. Test number six. Test number seven. Test number eight. Test number nine. And number 10. All right, so last but not least, like I said, I'm gonna be testing my internet service provider's DNS server. My internet service provider is AT&T, so I'm gonna be using their DNS servers. We're gonna go to set up internet connection Use LAN cable and just set everything to easy. And it'll automatically pull the DNS servers from my router. Test number one, let's see what we get. Two seventy one over ninety eight. Test number two. Test number three. Test number four. Test number five. Test number six. Test number seven. Test number eight. Test number nine. And last but not least, number 10. Alrighty, so like I said, I'm going to be posting the averages for each DNS server here on the screen, and you guys can see which one is the fastest here on my network. Now, like I said, I do not recommend that you take my test as guidance. 
Definitely perform this test on your own and see which one is faster on your network. You can also do this test very similarly by using each DNS server and possibly downloading a game with each one and seeing which one's the fastest. However, I think that that would take a very long time for some people, especially if you have very low bandwidth. But this is my simple test that you guys can duplicate on your own and find out which DNS server is the best for PS4. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely comment down below if you all have any questions. Also, please comment below. Tell me which one that you all got that was the fastest for your home network. Also, make sure to subscribe for more videos and please leave a thumbs up here on this video. It helps me out a lot and it supports the channel. I will see you all on the next video. Peace.